Buddy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's Maga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for P, 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 chapter 18. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just on a non stop high speed struggle train heading into chaos. And mm, it's getting faster by the second. We're talking hyperspeed, panic attack levels of struggle up in ya. Yeah, it, it's a. Uh, it's a struggle because we're trying to keep a roof over our head right now. It's that bad. But if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. Also, yes, my channel ain't sponsored. Nah. But, and I'm going to do a video about this late, um, later today after I'm done with all my um, Shonen Jump live reactions. But it was announced that all of the manga... Uh, manga plus all the chapters on manga plus between now and january uh 2023 are free to read on the manga plus app i haven't seen it on the manga plus website yet i'm hoping it's gonna go there but yes every chapter on the manga plus app is free to read so it's better than the other app i can tell you that just saying um, so if you haven't downloaded it already, please do. Manga Plus is freaking amazing. I've done uh, videos covering Manga Plus already on why it's amazing. But anyways, go do it. It's available on uh, the Google Play Store and iOS and it's free and everything is legal on there too because it's situation. Anyways, um, last chapter, we uh, started doing some music uh, music analysis at... Um, Sadame Hino's uh, place and um, things are going to be very, very interesting up in here. I'm really excited for this. You have no idea. Anyways, let's get to chapter 18, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Mimo. I love this cover page. It's so pretty. Ooh, let's go. Hmm. So that double ganger was the real lucky? It was just a doppelganger. Um, yes, the information has been confirmed, but what do you mean by, by doppelganger? Huh? I didn't think I would just bump into Lucky like that. Actually, can you stop eating only instant ramen? It's bad for your health. What? But Japan's all about noodles. Go get actual noodles. Don't eat, don't eat instant ramen. Go get, like, authentic ramen, woman. Seriously, Mimin. Huh? Uh, hmm... I guess that was Lucky's declaration of war against me. You can't do that, Mimin. It's dangerous. You can't do that, Mimin. He used to always stop me from doing... You are doing dangerous stuff, Mimin! Like, what is wrong with you? He, always, he used to always stop me from doing things back when we were kids. Lucky's always been in my way. I didn't even know he was still playing piano. Why? Where's Mama? I really want to know. I want to go see her. Uh, look into it. Okay. Ooh, this will be very interesting once she knows what's up with mom. Also, for this upcoming competition, is it true that she'll be there? Ooh, this will be good. Hey, Dada Senpai. Can you stop calling me that? <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Dada Sensei. Is everyone practicing? Yeah, a uh, drink? No, wh why are you giving me hot tea? This house is nice. It's surrounded by nature and you could play as long as you want. I wouldn't expect anything less from the chairman of the school. Um, Dada Sensei, you've also been uh, been here for training camp, right? Back in the day with your classmates, don't you feel nostalgic? I don't want to remember that camp training camp from hell. Is it true you're in the student music competition? Um, are you going to quit playing piano with uh, the band and come back? I'm going to keep playing with the band. I want to become more famous. That way I can meet more uh, living composers and play their music as it's meant to be played. Why did you throw away your talent? Because unlike the Otogami family, I want to be a pianist everyone can aspire to. That sounds kind of questionable. That, kind of, that so does sound kind of questionable. She's becoming... Because that's what the Otogami... That's what kind of what um, Papa Otogami was kind of doing in the sense. Because he was saying that there's only one way you could play piano and he wants everyone to aspire to that. And she wants, pe she wants people to aspire to be like her. 
but I feel like it's in the opposite direction is my guess. I'm guessing she wants people to play piano like the way they want to is my, my guess, but we'll have to see. What? Um, I can see the sunset on my way home. Be quiet, Sadame. Um, hey, Melalee, uh, welcome to my home. Uh, you're just borrowing it. Oh, um, uh, his going home is amazing. Uh, practice the competition pieces. So, about the music for the competition. You mean, um, scribe in the two? Yeah, a two, yeah. The preliminaries require a piece from Boxwell Tempered uh, Clavier, and one of two of two is that uh, that's decided on the day of. Lucky you chose Well Tempered Clavier, uh, Book One, Number One, Prelude, Chopin, um, Chopin's Etude, um, Opus uh, Twenty Five, uh, Number Nine, Butterfly, um, Scriven, wait, Scriven's uh, Etude, Opus uh, Eight, Number Twelve, Pathet, Wew. Pathetic. Why are you going with uh, pathetic? Is he talking about himself or is he talking about Mimin or is he talking about both? You chose Bach and Chopin. Uh, Dada Sensei chose the uh, Scriven piece. Um, how did you, t you played Bach and Chopin for your entrance exam. Do you like them? Yeah, uh, my mom loves Bach's uh, Well-Tempered Clavier, so I listen to it all the time. When I was a kid, I couldn't play it, but I listened to my siblings play Butterfly. Oh, I can understand that. The analysis and the images of those two pieces just naturally come to me. I know um, how I want to play those two. Pathétique, are, um, are there people who uh, want to experience grief? Um, I, I don't want to make them sad. But to win, I have to know. It's a theme you must play in order to become a pianist. It is. Because not all pieces are going to be happy all the time. No. No. So there's another way, another definition for it. Because I just, I had to look it up. Because it would drive me nuts if I did it. Because... It says another definition for it in terms of like a move on, dramatic, moving. So that's a very, I understand that. Hmm. Because I was thinking that's what it, it meant was just, you know, typically, because that's what the first thing that comes to mind is pathetic. But, but in terms, but it means passionate or emotional, which is very, but you know what? I'm going to take in terms of pathetic though, is especially in the context of this manga, if you look at like the Otagami, such so Papa Otagami's uh, point of view, he he believes that emotion in music is pathetic and wants to keep it separate. So ha 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 ha. I win in that. Ha ha. But there's that. I really do like that, that it's basically you're going for a passion or emotional here. But I don't, but he doesn't he doesn't want people to feel sad. But that's the thing, though. People have, there's points in life where you have to feel sad or you have to grieve. Because that's just, I, I mean, that's just, um, that's just life. It is. I've been, I'm living proof of this. Um, but here's, the, let me give you the better meaning. The French adjective pathétique has a me primary meaning of emotionally moving, notably by demonstration or evocation of suffering. Um, 
this definition applies also to the English word pathetic as well. But yeah, that's why he's saying he doesn't want people to feel sad. That's why um, Lucky is saying he doesn't want people to feel sad. He doesn't want to make people to feel sad. But it's that's just how life is sometimes. And I agree. I agree. It's a theme you must play in order to become a pianist because a lot of another reason why is because a lot of um, famous composers have had to go through suffering. Beethoven's a great example of this. Just saying. Sadami can help with the music analysis. Think about how you want to play it. But Lucky, I'm sure you'll figure out a, um, a way to wing it at the last minute. You figured out the image in your head for going home that same day, right? So that means it suits you. Uh, Scriabin was a composer who loved improvisation. That last part, um, hmm, but if you had made a mistake, um, why do you know so much about me? In fact, there's a lot of information about the Otogami family here. I've been studying up, but who cares about me? Let's do some music analysis. That kind of is freaky. Um, let's do some music analysis. We don't have to start from scratch, though. Think of me like a reference tool. Ooh. I have an idea for what Lucky can convey here. I know it. I know what he can do. In return, I want you to grant me one wish after the competition. Huh? Uh, okay. I want to play music that helps wishes come to fruition. But with all those people, I can't ask what everyone's wishes are like I did with Reichiro. I have to be able to portray everything, including sadness, but I want to play music that makes wishes come true. Why can't I play however I want? Mimin, too. She's having trouble dealing with how she wants to play versus how she's expected to play. That's why she's so mad. Use that. That's one way to use it. Like, use that to, um, um, use that to evocate, like, how she's suffering. Do that. You know, the other one I was thinking is to, um, you could use that. Also, um, use how Lucky use how, um, he suffered in his life. Um, like from his experiences and life experiences and also like kind of base it off of how his mom's been feeling. She could use that. That's my opinion anyway. But the way, uh, by the way, where is Furusu? She's in the rear practice room. She said she wanted to focus by herself. <sighs> huh? Woo! Hello, I'm Mimin. Who are you? Mimin. Dude, her t-shirt says Mimin. That's boss. I love it. So Mimin has showed up. This will be very interesting. So Mimin has showed up. Now I gotta wonder if uh, um, if Lucky's gonna tell Mimin what, what's happening with mom. And also, I'm very curious what you guys think in terms of uh, um, the piece is what he's going to do. Butterfly, I, I, I got a feeling I know what he's going to do. Pathetique for experiencing grief will be very interesting. With Mimin, I can understand what he wants to do is like, this, in ter especially in terms of suffering, Mimin is suffering from the loss of her freedom and um, of how she wants to play. And what he could do is use the image. Remember those magical girls we saw? He could use those magical girls as an example. And, you know, have a, like what we saw at the beginning of the chapter um, with, uh, um, with like Mimin as like a little girl with like her little magical girl stuff. Use that as an example. And, um, show how you know her freedom is being binded and show her like being lost in this forest being trapped in this forest and then find a way for her to become free of this the other thing as i was saying i think would be very interesting is lucky's own life experience where you know he's and showing what's going on with him like how you know, he's been hurt um, by, you know, their father and how, you know, um, Papa Otagami took every, you know, all his, his family away and also show how that's affected him and, you know, how his 
uh, fam, you know, um, how his mom got sick and stuff like that. He could do that. He could convey that, which would, I think, be very interesting. And also show him, uh, have him convey how, you know, how it's been f for him, you know, playing, um, you know, playing piano for him, uh, him playing piano at his, you know, mom's bedside. And then hearing the news that, you know, his mom only has so long to live. There's so much that he, there's so much that he could do, but I think he's going to do more for Mimin about her loss of freedom. But I really think he should, I really think he should go his route as well. I really do. But he's, he, I know he should be selfish in regards to this, but he's, he's, he's going to be selfless and, um, and show uh, a Mimin's uh, loss of freedom and how she's been trapped in this forest. And it will be very, if, if um, Emma Paul goes this route, what I want to see is remember those, the uh, piano forest that we saw. Um, I want to see her being trapped in that kind of forest. I do. In that fur lease. And have Mimin um, crying out for help. That's what I want to see. And then see Lucky reach out for reach out to her and help by the end of the piece. I think that would be so beautiful. And it would I, I don't know why I'm crying. Because I'm I, I'm picturing it in my head how powerful this could be. And how this could be like the complete opposite of what we've seen in Piano No More. I think that's why I'm getting emotional. And like I have Lucky kind of rescue her from that forest and show her that there is hope that she doesn't have to be like stuck in this forest. That she doesn't have to, you know, listen, be, she doesn't have to, um, be on this path. No, that she could get out of it. And that, um, if she asks for help, she can get out of there. She's not alone. That's what I would like to see from it personally, but. We'll see. We'll see what direction Emma Paula wants to go with it. But like, if they do go the mom, uh, if Lucky does go the uh, if Emma Paula go does go the mom route, it could be a beautiful story. It could be a consistent story where you see, you know, the, the butterfly stuff with um with butterfly with the uh, the family together. And then go into like this really like somber, sad piece of like how, you know, um, with uh, with mom going into the hospital and stuff like that. There, there's so much that can be done. And we'll, we'll have to wait and see what Emma Paula wants to do. But very curious what you guys think. What do you guys want to see from this? What direction do you think um, Emma Paula Sensei should go in? Um, with, uh, um, the pathetic piece. I think he should go in regards to, to mom. I think he should, especially if, uh, um, if Mimin isn't taking the news about mom very well. I think so. And plus it would be like a really beautiful narrative, but like the other thing though, with the improvisation, you know what, if she does go the Mimin route, then you could have, I, I understand what you, you, he might do. You'll have the butterfly with the family. Then you have the pathetic where, you know, Mimin is like trapped in the piano forest, right? And then the piece with the improvisation, that will represent her, Mimin, getting out of the forest and being free. Yes, that is, is what I think we're going to see. I'm calling that now. Put my tinfoil piano, I'll put my tinfoil hat on that. I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more P -P 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 content, a few ways you can do that. Donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the de description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.
。